Craig here, Mayhem Garage, uh, working on a mud truck here. Um, it is a subframe job. The truck came in here. It was already four linked, had these uh, 12, 4, 24, 171 BKTs on it, one tons, Dana 60 front, uh, Dana 60 rear. It had a plate here that was the subframe, we'll call it. Um, I have built this subframe, drop down cradle, and many of you would leave this at this point and build with it and run it. And I'm gonna show you today why that is not a good plan, okay? This truck is here because that was failing. It has broken the frame here it has bent the frame. You can see the gap here versus the gap here. You can see the gap here versus the gap here. Okay. So these frames from the factory with a leaf spring are mounted in two positions. So that is dispersing the weight in two spots. Now you have a singular spot, so that means that is twice the weight in a singular spot. So that is twice as much leverage, okay? So I've made this little model here. This is uh, how I would normally do a subframe. This is how many people leave a subframe here. doesn't take much weight and it begins to flex. This is just a heavy piece of iron here. See it's lifting that off the ground and we've got quite a bit of flex here. That is no longer straight by any means. Okay, now we'll go to the other one here. Bear with me. Okay. Thought I was ready. There we go. Now we have considerably more weight on there and that is not flexing whatsoever. So, moral of the story is, yes, this works. It's just a matter of how long it works for. So in conclusion, I'm going to bridge out to at least the point where the shocks will mount. And that is a good example to think about, okay? A bridge, you don't wanna just have your structure span the center, you want your structure to span the entire gap. And with our shocks, being mounted where they're at, that is the gap you're trying to span. Yes, roll cage will help if you went this route. Um, if you build your roll cage from your shock point to your other shock point, it does help bridge it on the top side. But you can't go wrong with just adding a couple more diagonals. It's not gonna be a whole lot more weight. It'd be probably 30, 40 pounds more. So, yeah, pretty much. And next time, we will get into the other reasoning this thing was here, um, and that is the four link that was in the front. It just didn't work for this application did not cycle properly. 
Um, it made the axle wrap tremendously. And we will get into that on the next one. Until then. That's all for today folks. Be sure to keep an eye out for more videos to come along with more information on the giveaways. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.